the United States. Thank you for that perspective of the status of media education in the United States, sir. I now invite our second distinguished speaker for the day, Dr. Trisya Chaut, PhD, Professor of Comparative Linguistics, Communication and Media Studies, Faculty of Arts and Humanities, Maule Ismail University of Meccan City, Morocco, to please deliver the lecture. The spotlight is all yours, ma'am. Thank you, madam. Uh, first, I would like to correct the pronunciation of my name. I'm Dr. Dristia Shuit. I'm a linguist and communication scholar from Moulay Ismail University of Meknes, Morocco. And uh, I am the representative of Moulay Ismail University in the UNESCO Unit with Milit uh, University Network uh, on Media and Information Literacy and Intercultural Dialogue. Uh, I would like to thank Dr. Ravi for inviting me uh, to participate in this international conference. It is amazing. Uh, it is something to be applauded to celebrate 100 years in media education. That is marvelous. Uh, we applaud you. And we are happy of this cooperation uh, with the Bangalore University and uh, with you, Dr. Ravi. You visited us twice in Morocco, once uh, in Moulay Ismail University at the International Conference on Media and Inter uh, uh, e e Media, Culture and Education, and the other time on the first international forum uh, in media uh, and information literacy in Fez. So uh, you have rightly stated our connection with UNESCO and, and our connection with media and information literacy, because I see if there is anything urgently needed now, it is media and information literacy for all. This is why my paper is titled, which media education for the 21st century? Question mark. The answer is, media and information literacy for all. So this paper deals uh, with both media literacy and information literacy as a necessity for 21st century education. I do believe that any educational system in whatever discipline or field of specialization should include media and information literacy in its curriculum. This paper is divided into three parts. First, I will explain the rationale behind combining media literacy and information literacy as a unified set of knowledge, competencies, and attitudes. Second, as a representative of Moulay Ismail University to the UNESCO Milid Uni University Network on media and information literacy and intercultural dialogue, I will include some landmark actions of UNESCO in media and information literacy. Third, as university teacher at Moulay Ismail University, I will share with you my experience and lessons learned. First part, <clears throat> unifying notions of media and information literacy. Due to the prerogatives of the digital age and conversions of communications, UNESCO has blended two areas of media and information studies, which used to be distinct media literacy and information literacy under one umbrella term media and information literacy moving from what these terminologies mean individually to a unified motion that embodies elements of both media literacy and information literacy now i will give a definition of <clears throat> media and information literacy. From the literature on media literacy and information literacy and my teaching experience, I have come up with the following sentences to define media and information literacy. It refers to a set of abilities. I will mention these abilities. First, 
the ability uh, to identify the ability to identify accurately accurately information needs second to develop appropriate research strategies to meet these needs third to locate efficiently media and information sources both online and offline four to access media and information sources without wasting time. Fifth, to classify these media and information sources. Sixth, to analyze critically media and information arguments and decipher communication strategies. Seventh, to evaluate the pertinence, reliability, and quality of media and information content, inclu including both text and images. Eight, to store and document the relevant information. Nine, to synthesize this information and use it effectively and ethically. 10, to create and communicate effectively media and information content according to the context, audience, and communication goals. 11, to make of the, this whole process a process which is both enjoyable and rewarding for academic achievement, personality development, social interaction, active citizenship, and professional fulfillment. Now I will give the basic components of media and information literacy. Media and information literacy can therefore be summarized as the ability to access, interpret, evaluate, and use effectively, ethically, and creatively media and information content in a variety of forms, including the use of information and communication technologies. This entails the ability to take informed decisions by applying critical thinking, rational analysis, and constructive skepticism when dealing with the various forms of media and information. A good starting point is to build a probing approach by always asking questions before deciding what to accept and what to reject. These questions seek satisfactory answers to the following. The, the type of the message, the producer of the message, the target audience, the message appeals, embedded values in the message, message interpretation, sidedness of the message, quality of argumentation in the message, credibility, of information and detection of disinformation, and all these apply both to text and uh, images. Media and information literacy is also to be highlighted as a fundamental basis in the process of democratization and active citizenship to help individuals develop reflective thinking achieve their full potential and enhance their participation in society. In addition, media and information literacy, hence for what I will call it MIL. MIL is considered as an essential tool to facilitate intercultural dialogue, mutual understanding, and a cultural understanding of people. Intercultural literacy is a key component of MIL as we should be able to, re to relate media and information to particular social and cultural context. And we should also be able to use effective cross-cultural communication to this effect. In fact, there is no doubt that most of the ills of our mother times have cultural backgrounds. Understanding 
co-cultures in one's own country and foreign cultures is a key literacy skill in the 21st century. Believing in cultural diversity, constructive dialogue, and peace communication is the threshold for a peaceful world based on mutual understanding and mutual respect. Now I move to the second part of my paper, UNESCO leading action in media and information literacy. The first declaration on media and information literacy uh, 2011 was the first UNESCO declaration to combine both media and information literacy. The media and information literacy curriculum for teachers, a key pedagogical tool launched in 2011 was translated into the six working languages of UNESCO and was very helpful for teachers interested in integrating some of its modules in their teachings. I did. And it was a highly rewarding experience. Ten years after its launching, and due to the rapid changes in the media and information literacy landscape, UNESCO has started a process of regional consultations to update its contents. I participated in the second international consultative meeting on the media and information literacy curriculum for teachers, which was convened as a side event during the 12th policy dialogue forum of the International Task Force on Teachers on the theme, the futures of teaching held on 8th and 10th December. 2019 in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. One of the recommendations of the first declaration on media and information literacy was to celebrate annually a global media and information literacy week, which entered into effect immediately after the adoption of the declaration. Since then, a global MIL week has been celebrated annually by UNESCO and its UNESCO Millet University Network on Media and Information Literacy and Intercultural Dialogue. Mulay Ismail University has participated in all these celebrations. The Global MIL Week was officially proclaimed by UNESCO member states in the 40th General Conference of UNESCO on 25th November 2019, given an official impetus from UNESCO member, uh, member states to ensure media and information literacy for all. Now I move to the third part of my paper. Lessons learned from Mulay Ismail University. Mulay Ismail University is a pioneer, both in including media studies and media and information literacy in the curricula of undergraduate general education studies at the Department of English of the Faculty of Arts and Humanities. We have been teaching media studies and media and information literacy 10 years before the advent of the emergency plan for higher education of 2009 which generalized media studies to all Moroccan universities and extended its time frame to two semesters instead of one, which unfortunately was reduced in subsequent reforms to only one semester reserved to introduction to media studies. Yet, we kept our pioneering position by being the only public university in Morocco to teach visual studies, in addition to media studies, by being the only public university to teach critical thinking in one full semester devoted to it, in addition to its inclusion in other subjects like media, media literacy and information literacy. We have also one full semester devoted to intercultural communication, two semesters devoted to study skills, and two semesters devoted to research methods, 
and the one semester devoted to research seminars, in addition to translation and communication and communication and leadership. We also have a master program on communication in context, which includes inter alia communication theories, media and society, media and information literacy, and postgraduate research methods. Many of our students write their research papers on media and information related topics, including media and information literacy. I'm glad to say that even if our curriculum is of general education nature, which means that it is addressed to non-specialists in media and information science, sciences, Moulay Ismail University graduates have the profile of media and information literate students. We also have an innovative way in teaching media and information literacy, which combines both skills and research theories, as explained in what follows. This innovative approach combining both skills and research is characterized by the following. First, developing skills and competencies, mainly critical thinking, communication and intercultural literacy and information literacy skills. Second, developing media literacy, especially news literacy, visual literacy, languages in media and information, representation in media and how to check the reliability of uh, online news outlets. Third, developing information literacy, especially internet research skills, evaluating and documenting sources and understanding the research process. Fourth, developing the capacity to understand theory and research using a comparative approach for a better understanding of media and information in the context. Five, developing civic participation and active citizenship. In fact, knowledge about media and information literacy raises awareness of students about the accountability of those in power, as well as the accountability of public service media and stimulates them to be active citizens, self-confident in, express, in expressing themselves and their views with the multiplier effect to disseminate media and information literacy in their circle of contact, of contacts and to their students when they themselves become teachers. Six, engaging students in media and information literacy by using social media platforms uh, mostly used by them and putting information and tutorials at their fingertips. They like it and they are involved in more interaction with me via these social platforms, mainly Facebook. Seven, online sharing of tutorials, publications and tips to succeed. My educational website titled Media and Information Literacy for All is acknowledged by UNESCO and the United Nations, Civil uh, and the United Nations Alliance of Civilizations as a substantial contribution of Moulay Ismail University in promoting media and information literacy for all. Created in 2013, it has an average of 30,000 visits per year, totaling now over two, 220,000 visits. It is also accessible via the UNESCO and United Nations Alliance of Civilizations Clearing House on Media and Information Literacy. As a concluding note, I say, the Arab world is so reluctant to include media and information literacy in educational curricula. 
if there is no political will to advance the media and information literacy agenda, we academ academics, researchers, and teachers should take the lead in incorporating media and information literacy in our teachings. We have been doing this at Mule Ismail University of Meknes, and we are proud of our achievements. We are ready to cooperate and share experiences with anyone interested to join our Alliance for Media and Information Literacy. Thank you for your attention. Thank you so much, Dr. Drisya Shrip. Firstly, sincere apologies on pronouncing your name differently. It was totally unintentional. We didn't mean to do that. That was a very insightful lecture on media and information literacy. Um, it's, it's great to see how you've outlined every minute aspect required to have to write about it, to disseminate it, and to be responsible and accountable in case of feedback or even backlash. And I'm glad to see that media ethics with a focus on intercultural literacy is taking a lead compared to other aspects in the media world. So the next distinguished speaker for the day, um, I now invite uh, the third distinguished speaker for the day.